How are you today? Good? Good. As you may have noticed, I like to have my hair down. I don't like to fool too much with it, so I don't use heat on it or hairspray or anything like that. Um, but I got three hairstyles that are my go-to. And you have been asking about them, so I thought I was gonna show them to you. They are all very simple to do, and all you need is a hairbrush, one of these hair bands, uh, hair pins, bobby pins, I don't know what you call them, a donut, and some of these like small, small elastic bands. I don't know if you can see it, but my hair is a little bit greasy because I uh, slept with I soaked it in oil and slept with it I usually do that like once a month or something to just give it like a like, boost of uh, boost of nourishment but usually the day after it kind of looks like this I don't think you can see it on the camera but the point is it gets very like uh, like heavy and flat so those are the days I usually put my hair up I'm gonna start with the simplest one, and that is uh, like, I don't know what to call it, like a partly, uh, just partly up like this. You may have seen me do that in my fitness videos and stuff. Okay, so what I usually do first is to just brush it. Yeah, you can see it's greasy, it, it like stays there. <laughs> then I use my fingers from my ears and go all the way up. For me personally, I think I look best when my hair is pulled like upwards because I get like the cut eye effect. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks better on me. If I were to pull it to the side, it wouldn't look so good. I don't know why, maybe it has to do with the shape of my face or something. So you can do this one two different ways. It kind of depends what kind of look you're going for. So either you can do it the Kardashian way. I think it's Chloe that uh, usually did this. That you have like you have it slicked back, and then you put the, um, the elastic band, and you make sure this the ponytail is like up in the back. Or you can do it the other way, you could do it, make sure this is like big and poofy and it just hangs. I think I'm gonna go with the poofy one, that's my, my go-to. You have divided it, you grab one of these small elastic bands. Now it's pretty slick back, so you want to, or if you're me, <laughs> you want to make it a bit, I don't like it too picture perfect. So I want it a bit like messy and rough. So it's just to like pull out. I like to pull out these small in the front. I like to make this one a little poofy as well. So then you can make the brush, make the brush. Then you can use the brush to just and there you have it. This one is very simple, casual. So number two is a bit more tricky, I guess, because it's not that common to do, but it's very simple. I'm gonna show you. So you may have noticed in a few videos that I have my hair up in a donut, and then I have a braid going through it. I think it's very pretty, and it goes with, actually, all of these hairstyles actually are pretty wearable in all situations so you could either use them dressed up and then you can make it more look done and picture perfect and pretty or you can just wear them seriously with sweatpants and a t-shirt and have your hair up i think that looks sexy so what i want to do first is to make the braid that's gonna go through it obviously everything's gonna go back but if you part your hair in the middle you're gonna get that awkward line in the middle so i would start my braid a little bit to the side and then make it go up like this
here again I like to when I braid to pull it up on the side so I get that um, that effect I was talking about I don't know how to explain it um, just so it I feel like I get like a facelift so this is just basically like a, um, a French braid, that's what it's called, right? Uh, it actually looks prettier if you start more in the front, now I started back here, so you can't actually see it until here, but whatever, it's gonna look okay. And then you want to stop braiding um, the French braid where you want the, um, the donut to be. So that's about here. And then you just finish it like a normal braid. Again, I like my hairstyles a bit rough. Um, so I don't make it too perfect. And then I just want to um, just make sure it doesn't go up. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> um, so now I obviously want to pull my hair up. To make it easier, I just flip my hair over and meet where I stopped braiding. And now I want to put up my hair with this one. Oops. And I would recommend to have one that's pretty like tight and hard. So this is popping up. So then I just use like um, one of these pins to pop it back down. So there we go. And as I said a million times before, I don't like them to be um, this tight. So I'm just gonna. I always need these ones out and then I just start pulling a bit and obviously you can use hairspray to make sure everything is in its right place <coughs> and with any of these hairstyles but I don't like to use that much product in my hair so I, I'm just telling you that it's not necessary okay so next step you want to take this donut I got one of these from H&M with the uh, with little button thing here. There are different ways of making these, but they work the same way. So if you want it to look very pretty and done and fancy, I would recommend to um, have another hairband. So just pull everything down and then attach the hairband and then swirl this around. But I like mine to be a bit messy. And then I just, while I'm pulling it around, I just tuck it in here as well. And I want to keep this loose and uh, attach this at the end. So I just, like that. Now I got, can you see anything? <laughs> now I got this one left. I want to make sure that this is at the uh, back. So I'm gonna try to touch like this, so you can see the braid in the front, and then just tuck everything under. Okay, now it's very loose, so you want to pin it. Pin it a lot. And there you go. So the last one is the two braids, French braids going back. Um, again, very simple. I'm just going to show it to you guys since you asked me. Um, just divide it a little bit to the side. So I think it's good in the back now. Then I just want to put this in a hairband just to make sure it doesn't Get confused all up in here. Okay. Again, I use my finger to pull it up on the side because I think it looks pretty. And then I just take the next layer.
when you get back here you kind of have to start to braid down if that makes sense so instead of like pulling it like up to the side you have to start pulling it back to the side so it doesn't like stick out, out like awkwardly when I'm down here I'm just gonna do a double check that I got all the hair that's hanging and I did so then I just start to braid a normal braid and then after a while you're gonna be really tired in your hands you want to start braiding from down here just trust me on that one put an elastic band at the end so there's one side Whew, okay next <laughs> now the trick is to um, try to keep it like similar on both sides so I can't braid up here I need to braid more to the side like this And there we have it! So I hope you guys like this kind of videos. It's kind of different from what I usually do, but I wouldn't mind making them more often because it's kind of fun and... So let me know. Bye!